Hello guys, welcome back. Christine here of Side Street Design. So today I wanted to have um, a little play making some artist trading cards. I know I've filmed quite a few of these recently, but I've just been in the mood to make some small sized art. And what I wanted to do was get out my Distress Oxide sprays again because these cover the best background for me. So I've picked out four colors, four or five colors already. I've gotten shaken off to the side here, so I'm going to use my Distress Oxide sprays. I happen to be in Barnes & Noble, and I found this magazine that came with this adorable set of polymer spring stamps. So that's what got me inspired to want to make some little artist trading cards. So we're going to use these stamps and probably some embossing to make them stand out. And then I have a sheet of... This is the Canson Watercolor XL uh, 9x12, 140 pound. So I'm going to use that to be the base for my trading cards. And I'm just going to go ahead. The colors I picked out today are Fossilized Amber, Cracked Pistachio, Wilted Violet, Picked Raspberry, and some Peeled Paint for good measure. But we'll see if uh, I end up using that one. So I'm just going to go ahead and actually what I want to do is I'm just going to lay some paper towels around this because I'm a, I know it's going to overspray a bit and this will help make cleanup a little easier. My stuff may be blowing a little bit. It's a beautiful day out so I have the windows open. The cats are sitting in the window so I may have to get up and let them out or you may hear a little bit of the road noise. Alright guys. So first up, I'm going to start with my lightest color. I've already shaken these good off camera. Fossilized Amber. There we go. Next, I'm going to bring in some of my picked raspberry. And that's going to give me some oranges in areas. So these are really just bright, fun Easter colors. Okay, next up I'm going to do some cracked pistachio. And this one I've not used yet. Okay, so if you pump more slowly, you get bigger drips. If you push it down real hard, real quick, you get a more um, wide spray. And you get kind of some of the circles. And then last but not least, some wilted violet. That, as you could see, when I shook it, it got in the lid. I'm just going to do this one a little higher, a little more gently. There we go. I need a little bit more of something in this corner. There we go. And now I'm going to let that first layer dry. Oops, wait. I forgot the, the peeled paint. Oh, look at that. That's just a really pretty green on top of it. Alright. My Distress Sprayer. Now when I say Distress Sprayer, what I mean guys is it's just a water bottle Tim Holtz released for using with Distress Sprays. You can use regular water bottles, but the pump just kind of, you can get big drips and little drips, and it just kind of gives you some real nice effects. Like I've used my, I have a dollar store one I keep as backup, but all I get is like a main uh, wide mist, and this one you get more droplets and other things out of, so it's something down the road if you want to invest in. It's kind of cool for if you do a lot of distress oxide work. There we go. I'm going to get all this activated. I'm going to get it dried off camera, then magically I'll be back with you and it'll be all set. Alright guys, I am back and cleaned up and you can see that peeled paint just made some really, really cool, look at all those colors guys, this is going to be great. So I'm going to see how many cards I can get out of this 9x12 sheet because trading cards are typically 2.5 by 3.5. So I think I'm going to go the three and a half route first and then I'll do the two and a half and uh, I'll just keep fast forwarding through this part guys.
Alright guys, so from that one piece, I could have kept going and I would have ended up with about nine trading cards, but because I don't want to make more than six right now, and I'm probably going to just make two for this video, I'm going to pick out my favorite two here to make um, the trading cards, and then the rest of these I'm going to save to use for scraps to make some inchies, or just into my pile to make some other trading cards later on. So my idea, and maybe I will just fast forward and do all six with you guys, is since these are for Easter, my thought was to take each card and kind of just do like an egg shape on the back and trim each one down to the size of like an Easter egg. So I'm just going to do an oval on the back. So each one will be a little different. I probably should have used pencil, but uh, there we go. So I'm going to get all these trimmed out and I will be right back. I am back and I have my six eggish shape cards. Now I'm going to go ahead and see which of these cute little guys I want to use. And I think there was also a duck. Let me see something. There was. There was a super cute duck. So I definitely know I want to use the duck on one of them. I can get it. So we'll have a duck. Let's see what else. Definitely need a rabbit. The rabbit looks to be attached to another sticker. I probably should have pulled this off. There we go, guys. So we'll have a rabbit. And now I can't see them. Let's see. Some little chickadees. With some eggs. Maybe they'll fit on a wider one. Have to do the kitty cat. Kitty cat's cute. All right. So I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna start with the duck. And again, I'm just gonna fast forward because once you guys see me do the one, that's kind of how they're all gonna be. And we'll just hang out and have some fun making some Easter themed ATCs.
you saw, I wanted to do some embossing, but the detailing was so fine on the polymer that it just kind of melted all together. So I switched gears and I went instead for a very kind of like darker, vintagey feel. I just left everything in the muted black tones and let the colors of the background just show through. So we have one that says, Spring is here, welcome all the new beginnings with the birds in the nest. We have Hoppy Easter with the rabbit. We have just a cute kitty chasing some flowers, a kitten chasing some flowers. Have an excellent Easter with the chickadee. Spring is here, welcome all the new beginnings again, but this time with little chickadees hatched. And lastly, another Hoppy Easter, but with the duck. And then what I want to do for two of these is... I'm going to pick maybe the Hoppy Easter with the bird and then have an excellent Easter. So on top of these being trading card eggs, if you know that you have one of those little tree branch trees for the holidays, you can also punch some holes in these and I'm just going to do it to two of them at the top and use some burlap, which I have here. And you can turn them into little ornaments as well. I'm looking for my one pair of scissors. So these are great also for little vintage inspired. And on the back you can put a note or you can paint the back or change its color. Because I know sometimes people make trading cards and trading coins and they're like, well, what, what do we do with them now once you get them? Well, if you're sending them in Happy Mail, you can also turn them into little ornaments for people so they'll have them seasonally, if it's a seasonal one, to put on trees or do different things with. And there you go. Just like that. Easy as that. Do this one. So thanks for bearing with me guys on this one. I uh, had a little trouble getting started, but once I got that first one done with the black ink. I knew the feel I was going for and the look I was going for. So I hope this will inspire you because even though these are trading cards, I turned them into like a half dozen eggs. These would even be cute displayed as a bunch like that in a journal page. You can do so much fun things with these. So if you liked the video, remember to give it a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and you'll stay up to date on all my latest releases, guys. Be back with you soon.